Welcome back to our series about how to use AmpScript in the Salesforce Marketing Cloud to build dynamic emails. If you haven't seen the first videos, make sure to check out the playlist to learn what we are building. My name is René Winkelmeyer, and today we will look at how to organize your AmpScript into a script block and how to leverage variables in your content. A best practice for coding is, in general, to consolidate your code in a central location where possible. This increases the readability and the maintainability of what you are building. For our email, we will use a script block to consolidate our AMP script. As we learned in the previous video, you can use script blocks for conditional checks or operations that involve multiple steps. And multiple steps can just mean to organize your code. To separate our code from the pure email content, we will drag a code snippet block at the top of our email. Why the top? Scripting languages have an order of operations, which is commonly from top to bottom. And anything that we would want to use in our email body has to be declared before. Within that block, we add a new empty script block. The first step for us is to declare a variable, intro sentence. What is a variable? It is a language element that allows you to store any value and is declared by using the keyword var following by the variable name, where the variable name is preceded by an add sign in AMP script. For our scenario, the variable will be used to display the intro sentence in an email. We will now recreate our if statement from below here in the script block. Note that it is already better readable than below as we don't have to wrap every single line into percentage delimiters. What is new is that we just can't put the sentences here. This is where we will use our variable intro sentence. By using the keyword set, we assign a value to our variable. And depending on the result of our conditional check, it's either the sentence for the VIP or the non-VIP customer. The next step is to clean up our email body and to make use of our intro sentence variable. We'll go to our text block and remove the previous code. And we will make use of something that we learned in the previous video, which is the AMP script inline statement combined with the V function. Note that we enter the variable name including the at sign. This is different from accessing an attribute like first name where you don't have the at sign. Okay, let's enter preview and test to check our email. And there we go. Depending on the data attribute is VIP, we see different output based on our variable intro sentence. Now, personally, I'm a fan of ensuring that my variables always have a value. This may not be necessary for this basic script. It's still a good way to show the how and the why. For that, I copy and paste the intro sentence from non-VIP customers to the top. And I remove the else statement. This allows me to set some smart initialization values, as most of my customers won't be VIP customers. And I reduce the amount of conditions in my code, and with that I increase the readability. <laughs> I'm really coding for the future, René. Now, I want to optimize this email a bit more. I want that the greeting line is also defined in my AMP script block, so let's do that. First, I declare the three new variables, greeting, greeting name, and greeting sentence. As you can see, I place them all into a single line. This is optional, although I prefer to group them like this for readability. The greeting variable will hold the greeting. We set it to the string value hello. The greeting name variable will hold the value of our first name data extension attribute. And we bring both together in the greeting sentence variable. For that, we use the built-in function concat. This function allows us to concatenate literal string values, like for us the greeting and the greeting name, with a white space in the middle. Next, we go back to our text block. And we modify the first line so that we no longer have any hard-coded text in here. Instead, we use once again the v function to output a value, here the greeting sentence. Let's check it out, hit preview, wait a bit, and as we go through the subscribers, we can see the new greeting sentence based on our AMP script block. Okay, you learned in this video more about script blocks, variables, and how to use them in your content. In our next video, we will extend this. 
we will make this email multilingual. And for that, we will access data from different data extensions. See you then.